following what others are doing is perhaps not always the best idea. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some best practices when you are designing for your UI UX projects from industry leaders and industry standards. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and before we jump into today's video make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, prior access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube tutorials and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to check it out once again, link is going to be down in the description below. So the first resource of today is principles.design and before we move on any further, links to all the resources I mentioned are going to be down in the description below. Make sure to check them out to access these websites easily. So as I said, principles.design and this website is great because as you can see, it says it's open source collection of design principles and methods and it has over 195 examples and almost 1500 design principles from 167 different different creators. All of these are industry standards and good principles. So once again, design principles are a set of consideration, then form a basis of any good product. So if you want to create a good product, make sure to follow these design principles. So why use them? It helps team with decision making because once again, these are good design principles. Few simple, a few simple principles of constructive questions will guide your team towards making appropriate decision. So how can you see them? You can see them right here. So some of these good principles. So let's go with principles of design, for example, simplicity. So you always have to follow simplicity, make it simple, don't make it complicated, modular design. So make sure to build uh, components which can scale, which can uh, be positioned on top of each other, next to each other, that can scale up and down, that can be responsive, being part of a modular design, which I just mentioned, tolerance, so be liberal with what you create, but conservative in what you do, decentralization, so principle of design of distributed systems, including societies, so test of independent invention, principles of a least power, and so on and so forth. So. You can check this out, for example, or you can go back and see all 195 examples. So you can see universal, specific principles about people, organizations, software, hardware, infrastructure, language. You can search by title, you can search by creator. So you can read all of these design principles and I really do recommend them because this website is fantastic, especially if you're just getting started and you don't know why some of these websites and apps are making the decisions that they are making. It's all because of these design principles. So the more time you have to explore these design principles, the better design decisions you are going to make once you actually start designing. Next up, we have smarterpatterns.com and this is designed for AI. Smarter Patterns is an interaction pattern library that provides solutions for common AI challenges. So if we scroll down, you can see um, patterns for transparency and trust autonomy and control, fairness and inclusiveness, and you can see all patterns, but let me, for example, just take a look at this one and you can explore all of them. So in just this one, we have uh, 28 different patterns. So algorithm effectiveness rating, uh, processing status, appropriate magic, confidence status. So let's check that out, for example. So you can see the problem. Users want to know how accurate results are when the system presents the result of a calculation. So you can see right here uh, how this example looks like and you can see the solution. So the system provides a visual indication of the confidence status of the calculation as a percentage by graphical indicator all through another format, which is this right here. So this London Eastern uh, comes on the platform five on this particular time and you can see seats may be available, but where? on the front, middle or back. It says the front and you can see additional information right here. So make sure to give this confidence status, which basically induce confidence into this user that they have uh, available seating on this particular train. So this is how this website looks like and you can go back to patterns. You can see transparency, trust, autonomy and control. We have 18 patterns. So let's chat presets, for example. So problem, 
There are lots of potential conversational paths with a chatbot and sometimes the user will type something weird that breaks an intended conversation flow. So if you're designing for chatbots, for example, maybe you should check this out just to see the problems, the solution, the discussion, other examples. So they are giving you other helpful examples. So this website is great. Uh, make sure to check it out. Once again, smarterpatterns.com. I will leave the link down in the description below. Next up, we have Humane by Design, and it's a resource that provides guidance for designing ethically humane digital products through patterns focused on user well being. So let's go with, I don't know, inclusive, for example. When you click right there, you can see it's a methodology that enables and draws on a full range of human diversity. So, best practices you can build a diverse team, design uh, disabilities first give control so let's check that out accessibility setting further reading so you can see how some of these websites are doing this and let's go to here so let's go to empowering for example so these are best practices so you can see examples right here notification settings only see posts from friends for example then in control privacy and autonomy invisible until needed which is really important promote awareness so make sure to check this website out and to scroll through all of these different categories it's quite simple but it's quite uh, helpful to see uh, all of these examples at a glance so once again humane uh, by design.com do check it out Next up, we have uxtoast.com and you can also download these apps. So learn the fundamentals of UX and UI design, including design laws and principles, visual design and design processes. So you can see what is double diamond, what is design sprint, experiment and optimize. Uh, they also have Figma tutorials, UX laws, UI design tips. So let's check this out. They also have articles, so quite useful website. So guess all principles in UI design, what it is law of proximity so you can see good and bad examples law of common region so you can see how this looks like law of similarity law of continuity of closure so make sure to check this website out because it does have a bunch of these uh, different examples which are really uh, helpful and useful especially when you're designing and you're stuck with a decision like i just showed you so you don't know uh, do you need to choose this example or this example this website is going to give you all of those different examples so make sure to check them out and you can always check them on the go make sure to download this app so once again uxtoast.com do check them out and finally, last website for today is uiguideline.com forward slash components. So you can see that it's a definitive guide to standardize the design slash code of the UI components based on the um, 39 most popular reference systems. So you can check out uh, used by students and employees of all of these different companies. So if we open up alert, for example, and it loads, so you can check out all of these uh, useful examples as to how they are doing it. So we have this landing page. So Google Drive, how they are using it. Discord, how they are using it. And Figma, how they are using it. So show more. An alert displays a prominent message at the top of the screen, like this one right here is. Let's go to Discord like this one is, for example. It could be also used to promote a new feature or to provide action-based feedback messages like this one for example so they need to make an action they can learn more or they can close their persisting and none model allowing the user to either ignore them or interact with them at any time so introducing the world expert marketplace you can read or you can simply ignore it so this website is great because it gives you industry standard examples like you saw google for example or figma so you can check how all of those companies are doing it so buttons how to use different buttons and you can see all of these different examples for buttons and all of these other uh, ui component examples so make sure to check it out once again uiguideline.com forward slash components because they do provide a lot of these useful examples so there we go those are the resources for this video once again they're going to be linked down in the description below if you want to check them out thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to press that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel i upload new videos every single week all about adobe xd design passive income techniques resources just like these ones so if you don't want to miss content like that make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one take care